Let's face it, pipe is not a very romantic material. It's extremely useful to our infrastructure and our modern life. Most people don't think of it as a base material for artwork. My name is Darcy Bellamy. I make abstract metal sculpture from steel pipe. My process is more like a stone carver than most metal workers. Most metal workers are welding different parts together to create a unified whole. I start with a steel pipe and I work subtractively uh, in a process that I call subtractive fabrication where I am removing material and adding generally only space to come up with a finished product. There's a real physicality to my work. I don't have any lifts or ways to assist in carrying and moving the material, so I've got to do it uh, by hand or with a dolly if I'm getting sophisticated. Although I did have some instruction early in my career, a lot of my learning has just been self-directed, trial and error, so to speak. My work generally falls into uh, one of four categories. The spiral is the first work that I started to create, and in some ways it's the most fun and the most spontaneous. In this case, I literally lay the pipe down on the table, and I start cutting, and I bend it, pull it, and heat it, and end up with these wonderful spiral shapes. There's a lot of stored energy in the pipe from the manufacturing process, and cutting it apart and bending it releases that energy so that it can be used in a different way. The sculptures move a lot, whether it's a touch or whether it's a breeze, they are kinetic and uh, that's really visually and energetically enjoyable for me. I've got uh, geometric patterns which are generally repetition of circles or squares. I draw the shapes out on the pipe by hand and then I cut them out. The circles were inspired by bubbles. I like the idea of bubbles floating up, being weightless. And I just really like the way that your eye is drawn around the work. I've got the silhouettes, which are human forms reduced to the simplest lines. The creases and the lines, the cummerbund, uh, the, the movement. I see those as almost telling a story where I set the context and it allows the viewer to, to create their own story around it. The fourth body of my work is inspired by nature, mostly with variations on flowers and animals. One of the patterns that shows up in nature is branching patterns. You can see that in tree branches, you can see that in lightning, the branching patterns in rivers. There's something about that that's very appealing to the human eye. Iconic images like cherry blossoms or plum trees with their branching patterns and then spots of color has been a real inspiration for me. Sometimes I go uh, extremely abstract and it doesn't look like the actual object, but I'm, uh, I'm capturing those branching patterns. In addition to shape, the finish on the outside of the work really adds texture and vibrancy for the viewer. And this particular finish, I had put varnish on the entire piece before I took it to a powder coater. And so we ended up with this sort of gunmetal uh, gray that came out of it. When I first started working with circles, my idea was to polish everything to a high sheen. And what I found was that the work was really beautiful if I left the rust in place, particularly because some of the circles have a sharp white edge around them. In most cases, the pipe has been sitting out in a yard for years, getting this lovely orange surface rust on it. And uh, I like the ability to keep that in place. Sometimes I'll texture the work a little bit where I might grind it so that there's some rough grinder marks on it. There's a um, Japanese aesthetic called wabi-sabi, 
which refers to things as imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. And I think that aesthetic really relates to my work in a sense that I don't strive for perfection. My plasma cutter work is all done by hand, and as a result of that, there's going to be imperfections in the work. When I look at my work up close, I see a lot of cuts that were not perfect, flaws. However, when I stand back from the work and take the work in as a whole, it all works really well, and you don't notice a lot of these minor imperfections. So my process is very simple and uh, low tech, and that results in an authentic, unrefined roughness. One of the things I strive for are unexpected surprises when the viewer's looking at the work. For instance, when I'm cutting the spirals, the tips are often really small and wispy and sort of curly on the silhouettes, whether it's clothing or something like a painted fingernail. I try and capture details that I find really add a, an impactful subject for the person to look at. What I hope the viewer takes away from my work is uh, surprise and delight and a sense of wonder about movement, whether I'm representing it through geometric patterns or spirals or the human form, that I like them to be surprised. So I'm hoping for happiness and joy and maybe looking at things in a new way.